I'm glad that I've got to do so many things. I mean, I have had such a blessed life right. to get to do movies and to get to do all the things that I've got to do. And now, here at this age in my life, get to work with all these great, iconic people and yeah. sing these great songs and just to kind of have a fun, like tongue in cheek when I thought, well, if I'm going to do a rock album, i got to call it Rockstar. Why not? There's a, yeah, the old song, there is a song called Rockstar, and I was going to use it, and I listened to the words, and I thought, well, it didn't fit, which I love it, you know, yeah, the rock sure. star, big fine car, mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> but I thought, well, you know, I'll just write my own. You, you don't, right. you can't copyright a title anyway, and I thought, well, I need to tell a story. Yeah. So as I mentioned, I, I just used Joan Jett as the theme to write about a, a girl rocker. I like it. There's nine original tracks on this. They're so great. We saw a little clip already of World on Fire. We have other clips we'll be sharing with you. We've got little snippets of music videos of some more of the collaborations that Dolly was able to do. And we've got more fan videos. So I believe we've got another clip, a video that was shot earlier of a fan of yours that wants to say hello. Okay, great. And possibly ask a question. So let's take a look at that clip. Okay. Dolly. I'm Shelly, and we are huge fans. We are so excited about your rock and roll album coming out and seeing all of the things that are coming with it. We are currently at Dollywood and enjoying the Harvest Festival. It is so beautiful here. We do have a question for you. We love seeing all the merchandise available right now. What is it like when you see people in public wearing your image? So it was the clip we got to see last hour of Shelly with her daughter. They were at Dollywood oh, during yes, the Autumn yes, Festival. Yes. We lost our visual live TV. I I'm know. I don't know. We lost without a hitch. Piece. <laughs> but she at was, my age, you got a hearing I aid. <laughs> She was saying hello and saying that she loves all of the extra merch that we have. And she was essentially asking what we had kind of talked about earlier oh, yeah. of how it feels for you when you see somebody wearing some of your merch. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Did so you, that's well, Yeah, great. we were saying it was fun, you know. Yeah. It's like, uh, but it's great. It's a great honor. And I'm glad they were at Dollywood. That's, that's another thing I'm very, very proud of. I know. It's on another my bucket list. Another good thing I've got to, go. to do in my life in yeah. our Imagination Library where we give books to kids. Right. You know, I'm, I'm the book lady sometimes and a rock star the next. Yes, yeah, so let's get back to I'm a to girl this. of many colors. But you are. A girl of many colors. I like that. See? I'm like good. the coat. You can be the girl. I'm going to have a, a series sometime of my life, my life on TV called Girl of Many Colors. That's fantastic. I'll tell lots of stories people haven't heard. Oh, we're keeping an eye out for yeah. that one. And I'm I might sure even do some rock and roll in there. I like it. <laughs> I know, I feel like you got the rock and roll uh, yeah, itch now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so of these songs, so we mentioned there's 30 different tracks on here and we mentioned a lot of them. One of the ones that also I thought stood out was What's Up. Oh, yeah, uh, that Linda was great Perry. with Linda Perry. Yeah. And I know we have a video clip of that. Maybe we can share that as well. But how did how did that one come to be and how did that play out? Well, I love Linda Perry. I got to work with her, as I mentioned on the other show, uh, when we uh, did a movie together and she did a soundtrack for it. And so I got to know her then and we wrote a few things together. Yeah. And I just kept in touch because I like her. And when I got ready to do the rock album, she was one of the first people, Molly and Linda, yeah. you know, came to mind. I and it. I love that song. So um, it was great to work with her. She played guitar on it and sang on it with me, too. So that was a, a little, joy. A little sneak peek. You guys want to see it? it? We've got a little clip. We'll roll it okay. for you so you all can check it out. Take a look. Still, just trying to get up that great big hill of hope for a destination. I realized quickly when I knew I should that the world was made up of this brotherhood of man for whatever that means. And so I cry sometimes when I'm lying in bed just to get.
All kinds of fun little sneak no. peeks for everybody at home. I know. I didn't know they were going to play the whole thing. My goodness. But we got a whole lot of those great songs yeah. in the album. We really do. Welcome. If you're just joining us, we're with the fabulous Dolly Parton. Hey. We're live in Nashville. <laughs> I'm in your recording glad to have you here, facility. by the way. My first time here. Yeah. It's an amazing city. Your stamp is all over this town. I mean, well, everywhere. I've been it's, here a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I've, lived, I've lived here since 1964. Wow. And I, I grew up in East Tennessee, so... Yeah. Anyway, Nashville is always my second home, and yeah. I love it. It's kind yeah. of my first home now, uh -huh. just about. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, while the video is playing and we're getting to chit-chat, we're looking at all of this cover art, and I can't stop looking at the fashion. And it feels like rock and roll and fashion, I mean, they go hand in hand, you know? <laughs> I got to know what it was like with these outfits, and how is being a rock star a little bit different from country stuff? Well, you know, I wanted to go all the way with this album. I thought, yeah. well, if I'm going to do a rock album, I I want to kind of the feel like part. a rock and yeah. roller. I want to actually, you know, wear the fun, sexy clothes. And of course, <laughs> Molly told me, as I mentioned, she, you got to have some leopard and you got to do this. And she even recommended Vidget, a guy that, okay. from India, a photographer that's fantastic, a young guy that does a lot of her work. And so she suggested him. And so uh, we, Steve Summers, as I mentioned on the earlier show, did all the clothes and Cheryl Riddle did the hair. So we just had so much uh -huh. fun putting together the whole clothes thing. And so I was just having fun trying to look, look at trying outfits. to look young and sexy like a rock star you at my are age. Killing it, <laughs> but I was I loving mean, it, you know. Thank, look at this outfit. Thank the Lord for good lighting, right? <laughs> yeah. The gold and the glitter yeah. and I, I noticed lots of leather and leopard and Oh stuff. yeah, I had to do a lot of that. Oh, there's my yeah, that's another one where I was laying on the on the floor. <clears throat> they were had like a little crane shooting down, <laughs> shoot me there. I thought, oh, do all rock stars have to lay on the floor <laughs> like that? I thought, well, a lot 